Hey guys, it's Caleb Danner here. I just wanted to let you know we have a new video out on Scanner Danner Premium. This video is from our good friend Tanner Brandt. It's called Network System Diagnostics Part 1. I was super excited about this video because we have a lot of information uh, scattered across our videos on network diagnostics, but we didn't have an actual lecture that you could sit down and watch as a good starting point. So I want to encourage you all to go ahead, go over to our website, check it out, and uh, enjoy this little clip from that video. So looking at this diagram, the data link connectors up here, we come down through here and we go to fuel pump module and vehicle communication. And then we also have wires that jump off at a connector and then they go over here through the BCM. So we go into the BCM and then we go back out of the BCM. So we're just passing through the BCM. Then the EBCM or ABS module, we pass through in and out and then the TCM in and out. Well, we had communication to everything, including the engine control module. So because I had communication to the engine control module, do I actually need to test the communication circuits at the TCM when I go to it to figure out why I don't have communication? The answer to that is no, because we pass through it. So if I have communication to the ECM, then I know that the circuit is okay. Also, if you want to double check yourself, if you check 6 and 14, if you check resistance here, the network has to be asleep. So the key off and everything asleep, your resistance would be 60 ohms because we go th down through here and we have one resistor here and then our others in the ECM. So if we have 60 ohms, this circuit is good. And then we know that we don't have to test the wires here or the wires here. So that means when we get to the TCM that we don't have communication, the only thing that we need to check is powers, grounds, and then do need to be aware that if it has a reference voltage, which most modules will, five volt um, or something like that, if that reference sensor is shorted to ground or shorted to power, uh, sometimes that will take the module communication down as well. But it saves you from having to check the communication circuits coming in, knowing that that's the way the diagram's laid out.